Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Y'all see I'm acting a little crazy, but I'm excited because I'm back with another video. Just gonna show you guys how I do my makeup. First and foremost, I am going to tone after I just wash my face with some witch hazel. I wanna make sure my skin is nice and clear and any extra like gunk or anything that's on my face is off. And I'm just using this um, shea butter that I bought from Den Donata Skin Food. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but she's actually a vegan only cruelty free brand that I discovered on Instagram. And I really do like this um, shea butter that I've been using. Works really well, feels really good. It's not super heavy on my face either. So I always use that. Um, first and foremost, just gonna go straight in with the brows gonna use my spoolie to clean them up this is a dollar um pencil that i bought from the beauty supply i'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows line them up um i don't get my eyebrows done i just tweak them by myself because honestly i don't i have a natural like eyebrow shape so I'm okay with just filling it in and then tweezing them as needed this pencil is also coming to the very end of its use I'm soon gonna need a new one or better quality but honestly when you know how to do certain things you can make it work make it look good so I'm using the color toffee and LA girl pro concealer and I'm gonna use that to line underneath my eyebrows I like to use a lighter color on the underbrow because I feel like it gives a better pop when everything is blended in and it makes it look very clean and sharp so just gonna watch me fill that in and give it a very nice and clean arch For my upper brow area, I'm using the color Chestnut. I forgot to show it on the camera. Um, but this is the ch color Chestnut, and this is my um, the color that matches my exact skin complexion. So I like to use it on the top so that it can blend in very well. And I'm just going to cover a few of my blemishes with some of the chestnut concealer that I have. So now I'm just blending this in on the underneath before I go in to do the rest of my face because I don't want it to look like cakey or anything so I'm just gonna blend in underneath my eyebrow
So I'm sure you all are thinking, what is she about to do with this loose powder? Like this is a different step. So I have really super oily skin. So I like to use loose powder in under my eyes, my nose, around my mouth because those are the parts of my skin that get very oily. Um, and I have been trying this method for a little bit now and I know I look gray, like I look gray right now, but it's gonna help mattify the look at the end. At least I have found that it looks good at the end. So I'm going in, I'm using two different foundations cause I haven't found a foundation in my color and this is just what I have. So this is Huda Beauty in 550 and um, a Becca foundation. And I don't actually know what the number is, but it's a way lighter color, like probably somebody who's like three shades lighter than me. And the Huda Beauty is definitely darker than me, as you can see. But when I mix them together, they give me the perfect color. Look at that. Oh, yes, girl. Flawless. I felt this side looked a little too light, so I just went and added a little more of the Huda Beauty. Just give me more of that brown color. And I actually found that mixing it makes the undertones a little better because I definitely feel like the Huda Beauty has a very red undertone and the Becca Primer has a very neutral undertone. So mixing them together definitely gives me the warmth that I like. Um, as you can see, I think this is, this is, this is good. Like this is very clean. Um, so this is the same toffee color that I use under my eyebrows that I'm going to use to highlight the essential areas of my face underneath my eyes forehead area above my mouth the bridge of my nose and on my chin we're just going to use this small blending brush to blend that underneath the eyes And I'm just getting my beauty blender here to just perfectly align everything out. Making it nice and clean. So this is a new Juvia's Place palette that I got for my birthday and I'm so excited. I don't do eyeshadow often but I'm definitely going to try something new and show you guys how I'm going to do this. Um, I'm really, really excited. So I did one eye off camera because I wanted to try it and test it out first. Um, definitely wanted to try and do trial and error but I'm going to show you obviously what colors I used and how I did it on the other eye.
so I'm lining underneath my eyes now um, I definitely like how this gives depth to the look um, I never used to be a fan of you know liner underneath the eyes but I definitely feel like it gives it gives the extra pow in the eyes so I'm using the Sasha buttercup and I'm gonna go ahead and blend in that concealer from earlier that I had put in put on excuse my English clearly I don't know how to talk today yes I like to do two layers I pat one in then I put another one on the top And every time you see me blow, I'm just blowing off the excess um, powder that's on the little blender that I'm using. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my NYX concealer. I don't know the color of this either. I think it's like cocoa or something. Um, but this is what I use for my contour. I am actually looking for a darker color because sometimes I find when I blend it in, I think this is a good contour for my nose. But on the side of my cheeks, um, sometimes I just think that a deeper contour, I think that I would like a deeper contour. I definitely think I would like a deeper contour. See that? Like, uh, it's nice. It's nice. I'm being honest with y'all guys, you know. Because makeup is really trial and error and I know a lot of women who like watch makeup artists and stuff and they're doing their um, makeup and they're already perfectionists so some things they really learned before they started but I'm learning this process with you so I'm just being candid about this process and just how I'm doing my face if you feel like this girl is chatting too damn much. <laughs> All right. So we're just gonna go in and blend in that contour. I was really proud of this contour, guys, because I usually don't. I'm just being honest. Also got this blush palette for my birthday from Juvia's Place, and it is so nice. I love it. I'm definitely a big fan. This is a new blush that I'm trying, obviously, and I think that this blush went perfectly with the color that I have on my eyes like i definitely think that it complemented it was a great color choice just went and blended it a little bit because it was a little too pigmented so i put a little bit of um foundation so i'm just gonna use a highlight which is a this is a kiss contour palette that i got from like the beauty supply y'all i'm telling y'all these drugstore products really be hitting like don't sleep don't sleep on it for real and I'm gonna use that same exact highlight to put in the corner of my eyes. I'm gonna put on some mascara um, before I put my lashes on. I got no eyelashes, y'all. I know y'all can see that there's really nothing there, but <laughs> I still put on the mascara anyways because you gotta be safe then, sorry. All right, so we're gonna go ahead to the lips. I did my eyelashes off camera because I'm still trying to master how to do them on camera. But this is a NYX Lingerie um, Matte Lipstick. I'm not really sure the color either. Clearly, I'm going to put everything in the description. Anything that I didn't get a chance to say the exact number or color, I will put in the description, definitely. And this is a ColourPop Matte Lipstick, which is like a peach rose color. Give me a very neutral lip. I'm just going to go and put some gloss on the top. Ooh, very natural lip color. Love it. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. I know y'all wondering, like, what is this girl doing now? My wig, y'all. Ooh, I needed to fix my wig. But this is an infallible setting spray that I'm using. I'm at the very last drop of it. But you need to set your face, ladies. Take that head scarf off, blend the top. Ooh, I know y'all see me. You look good. You look good. After this, I did go ahead and straighten my hair because it has all of the 
marks from the scrunchie that I had in my head and from the headscarf and sleeping. Usually I don't sleep with my wig on, but sometimes it's too much work to take it off. But this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you and happy holidays, people. Love you guys. Bye.